Good screen making starts with a good screen. It can make or break any job on the press. I'm Mike from TechSource, and this is Screen Making 101. We're going to start with coating the screens. Remember, the screen has a print side that touches the garment or substrate and a squeegee side. I'm using Tex Blue Emulsion because it is reliable, flexible, and very forgiving. We'll start coating the screen on the print side by placing the scoop coater at the bottom on the screen and tilting it forward until the plastic angle sides makes contact with the mesh and the bead of emulsion rolls forward. With even pressure, pull it to the top with one slow steady motion. Tilt the scoop back maintaining contact with the screen and scrape up while lifting it away. Now flip the screen 180 degrees in both directions and coat the squeegee side twice. This will work with most mesh counts except for coarse meshes like this 40. We'll only get one coat on each side. Always rack your coated screens horizontally, print side down. If you don't have a dedicated heat box, then it needs to be in a warm, dust-free room rack with humidity at 50% or less. Your film positive should be dark enough so no visible light shines through the image. To get the perfect exposure, there's a couple of tools that will help you. First is a step wedge exposure calculator like this one. The idea being that you can expose the screen multiple times and reveal a new part of the film with each exposure. This can work, but I use a 21 step sensitivity guide. A perfect exposure should yield seven squares washed out. When you expose the screen, place the guide somewhere away from your art. I'm going to expose this 305 mesh for 30 seconds. Let's assume that I don't know it's too much time. When developing a screen, wet down the squeegee side first and flip it to wet down the print side. After a few seconds, always wash out your image by spraying on the print side. When your image is washed out, make sure the step guide is washed out as well. We ended up with a number nine, so according to the chart, I need to times my exposure by 0.5 or half of the 30 seconds. Even though the image washed out okay this time, if we had half tones, we would have lost a lot of detail. Let's do this again with another 305 mesh, but this time at the recommended 15 seconds of exposure. We'll use the same technique on developing and see the results. We hit a number seven, right on the nose. Remember that each mesh count will be different and the lower the mesh, the more the exposure time. In part two of the series, we'll work on exposing half tones and dialing in the art for the right LPI or dot size with the proper mesh count. 